Joseph here, and today I have another video for you. Today we're going to be talking about this. It's a parallax robot. So as you can see here, I've actually already assembled it. I assembled it before uh, I was able to, before I thought I was going to make a video on it. So I'll just run you through the basic steps. This silver part right here is a frame and it was all by itself. None of these other accessories were on it. What I did first was I attached this battery case. I'm trying to think what I did first. Actually the servos. I attached the servos first. You can see here I have the screws on one side and the, on this on the other. So screw those both in. You can see the servo piece is with the tire, with the wheel section closest to the center. I don't know why it's the other way, but oh well. I, then I attached this, the battery pack, that screws in with plastic screws. You can see right here, plastic screws with the metal nuts, so be careful not to strip those. There's also another one right in here. And then, those are the two that's holding, their, holding them in. Four batteries, each one is 1.5 volts, so there's six volts here. And you can see here, I'll turn it off so I can show you guys. 9 volt battery, you can stick a 9 volt battery in this way, or the 6 to 9 volts in this way. So I have the 6 to 9 volts in here, that was a notification, so for that. And then, you can chuck the board. You put the board on here, all the boards come here, this is the microcontroller. I don't know if we'll be able to get this out for you to see. I don't think so. Yeah, but this board, you obviously know that those come out. Um, there's activation buttons right here. These are resistors, 40 ohm resistors with LEDs here. And the lead, this lead would have been up here, but I moved it with, so this cable right here. I put the resistor here. It travels across. I Then I put they're bent because I bent them. So the voltage travels through the resistor and it travels across this line, which I stuck the long lead in this hole and the red wire, since the power goes along that line, the red wire will pick up the ground and take it to over here, which is the ground in VSS. And then the 13 and 14, which is what these resistors are into, is also the, the uh, servos. So I actually just put a basic program on here that I wrote. So, when you turn it on, it'll go, but I'll set it off camera because it'll be coming to the camera. And you're like, well, how did you do that? You just push reset. It says reset, but that just restarts the command. Press it and it restarts. Two is for actually act um, physically visually doing the, the uh, commands you put in. On number one, yeah, that was number two. On number one, nothing happens. This is programming mode. And then zero is off. And when you turn it off, you always want to make sure that you did disconnect your power, whether it be the nine volts or the six to nine volts. All right, so now I'm going to bring into frame Big mess. All right. So let's get this up here. All right. So you can see here, I have the programming cable that came with it. Use the USB that came with it. Try to focus in on that so you guys can see it. There it is. So now, and I've got it plugged into the USB port. And here is the program P Basic. I'll zoom in and put this up so you guys can see it. Whoops. Let me fix that. Okay. This is all I'm trying to figure this out for you guys. Alright, so 
Here we go. So I'm going to take and plug in this into here. What you're going to do is you're going to plug the USB into here. The lights will flash, but even though there's still no power in it. So, yeah. Go ahead and stick in the 6 to 9 volts. Put on mode 1. So that way when you press reset, it doesn't do anything. We'll set that off to the side. You can see the program here. Now, you saw the robot that I have. It's the Board of, Ed Board of Education, the Parallax robot. It's the Bobot Robot Kit USB. So, up here in the code, we clicked Stamp Mode BS2, as you can see here, and then PBASIC 2.5. These are the two buttons you want to click if you have the Bobot Robot Kit USB from Parallax. Debug. That's going to tell the program's running. The robot's pro uh, plugged in right now, so I'm going to hit play. That's going to load the code on there and it's going to run it. And I'll show you what happens when you hit play from the robot. The light flashes, that loads the command. And then the LEDs, if you have them in the right ports, they'll light up according to where... No, sorry, they'll light up according to where you have them plugged in and what code you have them set to. So, that's actually quite cool. It's just a close-up of the LEDs turning on and running. So now that we have all that ready, you can do your code. Now, I just reading through the book. Yes, the book does come with it, and it teaches you how to do all this stuff. Here it is, robotics with the robot, with the robot. Book. I do. Re I did. I am reading it. So now, all this other stuff. Uh, I don't look at all that stuff. So we have this debug program running. That's what it says when we hit the play button. If you had a little display on the robot, this would you tell it to show it on the display on the robot, and it would show whatever you had typed here. So see program running. Counter var by you need to put that in there for the following commands. If you're going to use the following commands, you put in counter var by four counter equals one two fifty. Pulls out thirteen. That's pin thirteen on the bobot. Eight fifty, which is the seven fifty, is um, no speed at all. But you, it, if you do read the book, it tells you to. Go ahead and align, let's see, it's in here. There's a little hole right here inside the servo where you put a little screwdriver in. If you take the wheel off and the, don't assemble this yet. Don't assemble this yet, but then it, then you can test. You set this at 750, you have it run forever. And then wherever you, when you get it positioned right, then you're good. 750 is zero. So 850 is like... Max and 650 is max. Now, since this, uh, since the servos are both facing opposite directions, you stick. If you stuck this one on this side, it would essentially flip over and rotate the other direction. So that's we have 850 for 13 uh, and 12 650. So opposite numbers equals same direction, no spinning. If you had 850 and 850, it'd accumulate in a spin, or 650 and 650 it would accumulate in a spin. So, 850 and 650, or 850 and 750, which would cause just to turn. So one wheel stops, but it's turning in the direction, or 750 and 850, or set or 750 and 8 uh, 650 actually, and it would turn. Now, as you can see right here. It's the 850 and 650, which is just straight, which you can see here. I'll go ahead and get the wheels and the frames. There you go. You saw both of those move. It's just telling it to pause for 20 seconds. Next, end. And that's the basic command. So let's go ahead and get a different command going in here. Okay, let's see. What should we do? A security square? Let's do that. I also 
did this one. Now some of you guys are probably looking at this code and saying, what has he done? But I wanted to enjoy myself a little bit and just use the commands that have shown me in the book when I wrote. And I plopped this in. So what we'll head, go ahead and do, load that in, program running. Uh, it says program running because I have it set to say program running. And now, let's get this onto the floor and I'll pause to get you guys into position. Okay, so here we are. I have the robot right here. Now it's not actually a square. I don't know why I've named it security square, but this actually doesn't do a square. So we'll go ahead and push this button. It'll be off on its own course. Wow, or what you programmed it to do. I don't want it to head in that direction, so I'm going to quickly pick it up and toss it over here. And there we go. There's the ball bot. You can see? So I'll get you guys back up at the desk and we'll be ready to finish off the video. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is definitely a fun robot to use. So if you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Just scroll with your thumb or scroll with your mouse wheel, whatever, to get down to the description and make sure to subscribe and like for more content. Thank you guys for watching.